All right. The main idea here is to regard each shape as some kind of, of chart. And as such, they have a bottom and they have a direction. This one is pointing upwards. This one has a bottom here and points left. This one has a bottom here and points right. Let's try and uh, draw the directions. This one uplift points upwards. This one over here. This one points upwards as well. And this one down in the middle points upwards. Then we have some pointing left. This one, this one. And we have some pointing right. This one, this one, and this one. So it doesn't take a lot of imagination to, to figure out that this one down here has to point left. So that rules out a lot of these. We can rule out this one, this one, this one points left, this one points left, this one can be ruled out, left, left, and this one can be ruled out. Okay, so far so well. Then let's begin to look at the colors and the length of, of the parts of the charts, charts. So among those pointing upwards, so we look at this one and this one and this one, this one, this one and this one. We can look at the long one and consider its color. The long one here is black. Then over here it's dark gray and here it's light. So that's each color once. The short one is light gray, black and dark gray, each color once. The middle length one is dark gray, light gray and black. So each color is represented once. We can check those pointing right as well and it checks out the same rule applies. So for the one we have down here, we can consider the long one it has to be not light gray, not dark gray, so we have black left. So it, we can rule out this one, it doesn't have a black one. This one has a black one, this one has a black one, and this one has a black one. Let's look at the, the short ones. This one is black, this one is dark gray, so we have to have a light gray one here. This one is light gray, this is dark gray, this is dark gray, so we can rule out this one and we can rule out this one. So this is our solution. I'm not completely happy now. We have the solution, but we haven't we haven't explained why the shape is, is like this, because we have this shape here. Three and then a two and then a one. But for instance, the long one could have been in the middle or it could have been to the right compared to our bottom here. So why, why is it like this and not in, in some other way? And to answer this question, we can look at um, those charts pointing right first. This one, this one, and this one. Here we notice that the shape of each chart is the same. The long one is in the middle, the middle one is to the left compared to the bottom, and the short one is to the right. Then we can look at those charts pointing upwards. So this that's this one this one and this one. And here we notice that the long one is to the right, in the middle and to the left. The middle length one is to the left, to the right and in the middle. The short one is in the middle, to the left and to the right. So here each length is positioned in each place once. So either the the pieces stay in the same position as in these three, or they change position as in these three. So we can look at, at our blue ones pointing left here, and the long one here is to the right, then it's in the middle, so we suppose it's going to be down here. The short one is in the middle, here it's to the left, so we suppose that it's going to end up here, in the, to the right, compared to our bottom here. 
and the middle one is to the left here, to the right here, and in the middle in our solution. So that, that explains the shape of the solution.